Modern communication satellites are used every day to extend the distance a signal can travel beyond the curve of the Earth. This tutorial will demonstrate what components make up a typical satellite and how it's constructed. Here are the major components that go into a satellite. Here is the propellant tank that holds all the fuel for the satellite. In the background you can see the cylinder which it will be inserted into which forms the core of the satellite. Here you can see the propellant tank being lowered into the cylinder. This is the cylinder which composes the center or core frame of the satellite. Now you can see the attitude jets mounted at each end of the cylinder or frame. Technicians are wrapping the cylinder before the next step in the construction of the satellite. Here is the communication panel that holds all the equipment, receivers and transmitters, as well as switching for this communication satellite. Now the communication panel is being mounted to the cylinder or frame of the satellite. All components of a satellite must be thoroughly tested before launch, as there is no possible way to repair it once it's in position in space. Once the satellite's in geostationary orbit, it will be 22,300 miles above the Earth's surface. Here you can see the solar panel deployment system being tested. On the flight up, the panels are folded up on either side of the satellite. Once in position, the solar panels are deployed to supply electrical power to the satellite and its systems. Batteries play a very important role in the operation of a satellite. Since the Earth occasionally creates a shadow covering the satellite, the solar panels cannot always supply power to it. These are the batteries that supply power to the satellite whenever it's in Earth's shadow. With the satellite fully constructed, you can see these communication dishes folded against the satellite, as are the solar panels. Every aspect of the satellite is inspected and tested. Knowing the exact center of gravity of the satellite is critical to controlling it once it's in space. The satellite is carefully moved on to its next phase of testing. This room is called the antenna testing range and it's isolated from all outside RF signals. It allows the complete communication systems to be tested just as if they were working in space. Once a satellite is in its geosynchronous orbit, the solar panels are displayed and the antenna are moved into position. Here you can see the different components as they would look once the satellite's in place. The liquid apogee motor is used to place the satellite in its geosynchronous orbit after it's been released from its rocket.